Hey everybody, Joseph Palumbo here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, this little app script that I wrote that will insert an image into a cell by grabbing the URL um, from another cell. Uh, and it was just something that I thought might be kind of interesting to do, and I thought I would share it in this video. So we have a sheet here. Uh, and if you notice, cell A1 says URL here. It's pointing to cell B1. This is where we're gonna capture the URL. Um, and I've went ahead and called this one download image. Of course, you can call yours anything you want. So let's actually go into the editor. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an on open function just because I like to always be able to trigger my scripts from within the spreadsheet. So I'm just going to create a menu. So on open, we're going to say let UI equals spreadsheet get UI. And then to that, we are going to uh, create add-on menu, or I'm sorry, create menu. And I'm gonna call this one automation as the main title. And then underneath it, we are going to add an item called insert image. And we're going to link that to a function, which we're gonna write here in just a moment called insert cell image. And then we're just going to add this to the UI. And I always like to run this, save it and run it. And just to make sure that it is, yep, there it is, insert image. Of course, if we click it, nothing's gonna happen because we haven't written the function yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. We're gonna create a function called insert cell image. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna create a constant of sheet uh, or rather, we'll call it constant sheet, and it's going to be spreadsheet, get active spreadsheet, and then get active sheet. That should be good enough for this script. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is tell the script where to find the URL. So we're going to say let URL equal sheet get range. And because this is a single cell, I'm just going to use the A1 not uh, notation, so B1. And we're going to ask it to get the value and hold that value in you in the variable URL. Um, the next thing I want to do is let's go ahead and designate where we want that image to show up. So we're going to say let image range equal sheet get range. And because we're going to be inserting this image into a single cell, once again, I'm just going to use the A1 notation and let's go ahead and put it into A5. All right, the next thing we need to do is we have to use, we have to build the new cell image. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna create a variable called image and we're gonna go spreadsheet app, um, new cell image that we need to set the source URL, which is going to be whatever URL is in the cell B1. And then we're going to build it. And the last thing that we need to do is we then need to tell uh, A5, or rather tell the image to go into cell A5, which is the image range. So we're gonna do image range, set value, and we're gonna say image. Cool, that should pretty much do it. Let's go ahead and save it. Um, so we're gonna put a URL here. The image should show up here. Let's go grab a URL. Um, actually kind of a fan of the new Galaxy Ultra, uh, the S22 Ultra. So I'm just gonna copy this image address. I am going to paste it into cell B1. I am going to insert image and I'm gonna have to give it authorization, of course. Yes, that's fine. Uh, no, it is totally safe. And we'll go down here to allow and probably have to run it again. So let's click on automation, insert image. And there we go. Um, seems a little underwhelming at first because the image is so small. Of course we can do that. Uh, what I would advise doing is let's go ahead and grab all of this real estate here and let's merge those. So whatever image we actually go in to put there, uh, it's gonna actually have a little bit more um, space to actually render itself. 
uh, and just also to, I want this to justify to the top as well. But let's actually try this one more time just so we can see it happen again. So I'm gonna go grab this other image, copy image address. Let's go back here. Let's delete this one, put in this one, click on automation, insert image, and there we go. So there maybe are some practical uses for this, depending if you're building out a dashboard and you wanna be able to just very quickly insert images. Um, this could be on a sort of back-end admin tab. Um, but uh, I thought this was a really neat little uh, Google Apps Script project that I would share with you. I hope this is helpful. Um, if this is helpful and if you like content like this, if you'd like to be more productive and learn different ways how to automate uh, the tools that you work with day in and day out, obviously please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.